Hey guys, yes I know, this is the second time I disappeared for a while, and the first time I disappeared it was because I thought I was getting bored of Ion and recording, and it turns out it was more so the Ion aspect because I ended up recording again. And after all these months of disappearing, I have been playing a different game, and you know, I've been thinking to myself, I'd really like to start recording again because I really enjoyed doing it in the past. So let me just get into my character real quick. I'm on the starting screen so I can look at my Grinch character, obviously. And this is going to get blurred out so that you don't see what I'm doing. You do know how many numbers there are, though, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> if you crack that pin, then you are amazing. But yeah, I'm still here doing well, and I hope you guys are doing well, too. Like I said, it's just I have pretty much gotten over Ion, and it's unfortunate that I spent so much of my recording just focused on it, because that's kind of like the downside to getting over a game, is that... Uh, I just lose interest in the hobby I had alongside it. Okay, I'm recording, or I'm loading everything real quick. I should note that I have abandoned fraps, and I just use OBS now because it doesn't kill my frames as much, and it's honestly better that I can see. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but fraps is infamous for like being really intensive on your computer, so... Uh, going to the main purpose of why I'm online. My outfit, well, okay, it's not called an outfit here, it's called a legion, um, is pretty much, you know, inactive. Most people have left that are still playing, and I don't even know, my friends list is empty right now. <laughs> I'm surprised so many people still have me on, but they could just be inactive as well. The point is, I'm going to auction my house, or my mansion, rather, because I have been holding onto this thing for months after not playing, and it's very unfair to people that are still playing that potentially want a mansion. Oops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do something different though. If you're on this server, which is of course, um, oh my god, I had a brain fart. What's the server name? <laughs> but if you're on my server, Tiamat, sorry, brain fart, then uh, I'm going to actually bid this for like super low, as low as I can go. And I'm just going to let whoever wins, wins, because I don't really care who gets this mansion at the end of the week. I believe it ends on Sunday in the morning, maybe like 11, 12 central. Uh, don't quote me on that time, but it's sometime on the morning um, on Sunday. So let's see, how do I put my house up for sale? I think you have to like specific. Oh, here we go, auction house there. No. Um, oh, here we go, register. Okay, so I'm going to register my house for the lowest amount possible, which I think is one. Oh, the minimum bid is 112. Damn. I would have been so much more exciting to put it for like one, but you know, I'm just going to put it for 112 million. And I've had a lot of great memories and lots of Kina saved from not having to res and just lots of time in general to worry about res sickness. But, uh, you know, it's a sad parting gift. So here, let's go ahead and list this. Oh, that's a lot of text. Minimum placed, blah, blah, blah. You have to pay registration fee. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you want to register? Really? <laughs> Could this not be simple? Okay, fine. There we go. Auction. Register. 112. Ta-da! Okay, so my house is pretty much going to be going for sale now. It should be listed here somewhere. Well, it's listed for here on this, but... Yep, there we go. If you look on the location, it's going to be right there on the map. So, yeah. My house is... or my mansion is now for sale. So if you want to mention, then you better start bidding. And uh, that's pretty much it for the Aeon side of things. I'm not really like going to do anything in terms of giving away, because it doesn't really matter to me at this point, and I highly doubt I have anything of value. Uh, bunch of crap. <laughs> but seriously, um, if I was going to record, let me include like a little sample of the kind of things I'd be doing in my uh, recording of the game I play right now, which is Planet Side 2, if you didn't know from the past. And it's basically like the same kind of thing I do here, you know, I talk and commentate on like the different things that are going on through my head. And it's different because it's a shooter, but there's like some kind of level of tacticalness. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show it right now. Enemy light Double kill. This guy tried to kill me on the left, he missed. <laughs> Am I lagging? No, I think it's like not that great, but it's not terrible. The most important thing to do when using this gun, though, is to always be moving. And that's like kind of a weird thing to say, but 
What I mean by that is that you should be strafing every time you shoot him. Headshot. Because you move, like, compared to most other guns. Headshot. You move much faster, so it's fair to capitalize on that strafe speed. You shoot him. Okay, I'm gonna let my shields go to full real quick. This building isn't so bad, the one I'm in right now. I'm gonna throw a grenade in here. Greedy Max, Greedy Max, come on. Oh, he moved. <laughs> the dream when playing a heavy is that your AV grenade hits a Max directly and you hit him with your rocket and you just kill him in like a second. It's like mega alpha burst. Okay. I'm not getting any more kills from that position, so it tells me that I should move. And it's a good thing I moved at the moment I did, because <laughs> there are two people there. Okay. The problem going down this run, uh, walkway is that that opening right there is kind of exposed to enemy fire. Right, I missed more shots than I should have there, but... <laughs> We will not discuss that, this guy, by the way. Some Max here. Aw, oh, someone else got the kill. Sucks, I got a direct shot. That might have been a headshot, too. And now the VS are at such a disadvantage <laughs> being down here. Oh, there's no one down here. They're on the building. Cool. So this is what we call a clusterfuck. People are going to run in there, grenades are going to fly over the place, and everyone's going to die. Oops. I don't know why I shot that guy. Yeah, I somehow got that guy without team killing. <laughs> oh, never mind. I team killed. I'm going to say sorry. Alright, there you have it. So that's pretty much a little bit of the gameplay. Just to give you an idea, it's commentary while I'm playing, similar to what I do for Ion, except there's a different things that I have to do there, like talk about the different strategies and you know placement and positioning, and it's a lot of fun. It's much more fast-paced, obviously, because it's a shooter, but at the same time, there are varying degrees of uh, being tactical that I could discuss, and hopefully there'll be enough interest for it. And of course, I do other games too, because I'm trying to just not limit myself to one game, so I don't get this kind of burnt-out thing. But yeah, that pretty much does it for me. So bidding is open. Um, that's all I have to say. You guys take care and I'll see you soon, I promise, <laughs> because I really want to start playing or at least recording again because it was a lot of fun for me and hopefully for you guys too. So until next time, take care.